Having a childhood dream come true is one of the most special things someone can experience in a lifetime. For Andrew Galdock, his dream is about to be realized. Galdock is expected to be selected in tomorrow night's NBA draft, and he would be only the second Cougar in program history to earn that honor. Galdock talks about his emotions as tomorrow night draws closer. I mean, it's just it's surreal for me because, I mean, just from where I came from, uh, not being someone people really pay attention to as a basketball player, to uh, this whole thing, it's just, it's just really surreal. I mean, it's all the players that I used to see when I was younger looking up to and now playing against them. You know, I'm right up there with those guys. I mean, it's, uh, it's just it's, it's weird. It's a dream come true. I mean, it's just, you really don't think things that happen like that. Um, and when they do, it just... It just makes you thankful. Over the past several weeks, Galdock has traveled all over the country working out for different teams and attending the NBA Draft Combine in Chicago. While exhausting, he says the experience was not without its great moments. You know, meeting Michael Jordan in Charlotte was, was really crazy uh, for me. And I think, um, man, I mean, I met Larry Bird too. I mean, playing in Boston with Danny Ainge, I, mean, I met so many people that you couldn't even narrow it down to. I mean, it's just. All these people you hear about, all these people you see on TV, um, when you're meeting them and they're legends and they just, those memories don't leave. And while it's still up in the air where Galdlock will land, Cougars head coach Bobby Kremens is sure that Drew will have no problem finding a place at the pro level. I got a lot of reports from different teams after they worked him out, um, saying how mature he was and what a great job he did. So, you know, so much is going to depend on teams' needs. Um, he's a combo guard. They say, can he play the point? You know, is he a combo guard? So that comes into factor. But the one thing, everybody needs shooters. And Drew can shoot. So we're keeping our fingers crossed. Thursday night will be a, a really big night for all of us. And we're hoping uh, that he gets a break. Galdock has had many big moments over the last four years. There have been 30-point nights, game-winning shots, postseason matchups, and even a win in the national three-point contest. But for Drew, one particular night sticks out above the rest. I had to say North Carolina. I mean, I think that was pretty crazy. I mean, that was just like, I wanted to go to North Carolina when I was a little kid. I think everybody wanted to go to North Carolina when I was a little kid. Um, so it was like beating them, beating them here, the way we beat them in overtime. I mean, it was just, that was probably one of the greatest feelings of my life. Um, you know, the people storming on the court. Those are the types of things you see on TV and you dream about happening to your school. So when it happens, it's just crazy. Well, I would have to say, you know, North Carolina would be right up there. But I think after Jeremy's injury, I saw a change in him. Um, he knew he really had to step up. And we had a tough road game at Elon. And Elon was playing well. And he had 30 points and he put on the show. And I'll never forget that night. I knew that night, even without Jeremy, we had a chance. And as he gets ready to make the jump to the NBA, Galdlock looks back on his four years in Charleston with fond memories. But I mean, it was so much fun playing for coach, uh, playing with the players that I played with. We won some memorable games, really big games. I said, it seemed like every year we did something, something big. So um, these four years have been great for me. I mean, I know though, these are times that I'll probably never forget. Um, met some lifelong friends, and uh, I mean, I love the College of Charleston, so.